Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sesso here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial here today. Bring us a cool little vibrant, colorful, uh, splat, you know, I'm gonna put all this in the tags because I don't know what the title is. Um, banner design, right? Okay, so you can see the example I have here. It's just a very fun, fair, like a very fun banner design. I didn't really use any like brush stocks besides like, I guess you can say these right here. Just, I just, I just did this just to add a little something, you know, just to look, make it look cool. But none of this is actually done with anything else besides just things in Photoshop. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I, I love the scheme to be honest. It's basically like a cool little splat, right? Uh, like the main splat is just orange, like this cool little orange gradient going on around here, the circle. Um, the white, I probably could have changed the color to like something, I don't know, like a different color or maybe like a black or a gray or whatever, but I think I went the safe route and went with white. I don't know, I feel like I just completed the entire banner, uh, like the color scheme at least. Um, so pretty much the whole concept of this is just me working from the middle and like, uh, I guess I can say like the outside middle, like a stroke kind of like middle, right? Like of a circle. And then just pushing it out and then figuring something out, uh, figuring something out after that and just like adding some really cool stuff. Ended up with this. It looks really freaking dope, to be honest. Um, I have like a picture in the background, like like kind of too far in the background. Like I could probably uh, pull the opacity back out. Um, just like looking at it right now, it's just a little something, something to add there. And also, it's like also inside this little orange right here, but it's on overlay, so it just makes my color just pop out a little bit more. And then of course the white, it just looks okay. I mean, I could have done a little bit better on the white. I don't know. I feel like I could have done something else, but I love the concept. I love the the idea. It just looks very very fun, and it's like it just looks. Fun. I don't know. It just looks dope. So I want to show you guys how to do it. Uh, 200 likes on the video with equals a secret down below. 200 likes. Um, so pretty much, I probably give you the PSD of this video. I'm very excited. I don't know if you can tell. I'm probably I'm probably talking a lot faster than I normally do. But I'm just like I'm just really happy. I just really really am. So uh, I'm at 55k subscribers. That's freaking awesome. We're almost at 60k. Nothing like big is gonna go on. But besides me saying honestly, thank you freaking a lot because you guys literally single handedly changed my life. Um, that's not even like a joke or whatever. That's honest. Like it's honest to God. Like it's awesome. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, these past uh, few days, I've been getting like a ridiculous amount of views. So maybe like a couple videos went like I don't know, like semi-viral. You know what I mean? Like on my channel, like maybe getting like thirty thousand views or something like that. Uh, like like really fast. But um, regardless, thank you guys so freaking much. Yeah, I really, really, honestly appreciate it. And hopefully we get sixty k and we do something really freaking awesome and big and dope and yeah. All right, so I'm done talking. The first thing we're gonna start off with is of course the background. After we move to the background, we're gonna move this little outer ring thing, and then we're gonna move out more this way, and then we're gonna go back inside, and then just we're gonna after that just put like a cool little CC stuff on it and finish it up. And so yeah, all right, let's get going. So pretty much the starting of this is gonna use a uh, little uh, simple like a, I guess a navy blue or just like a, like a darker blue. Um, the hex code for this. So if you want to copy the same exact hex code, meaning uh, this little code right here, you can put this in in your Photoshop and get the same exact color that I have is uh, 21272C. So pretty much if you get that, you get this nice little navy blue, and you can just put that on a separate background, a uh, se separate layer, and then you're good to go. So I'm also in a uh, Twitter header dimension, so I do have my ruler set up. If you guys don't know how to set up your rulers, it's pretty much control R, uh, just like so you can see them pop in and pop out. And you will not have the blue lines, you will actually have to go ahead and just click on like somewhere around the ruler, click and drag, and then you can also snap. Uh, your Photoshopper knows where the middle of the dimension is, uh, or the middle dimensions of your, uh, I guess your, what do you call it, like your document. So if you just like kind of like think where the middle is, it will snap. As you can see, it's snapping just like so. And you can do the same thing for the uh, horizontal and vertical. So once you go with that, you can just go ahead and do that if you want to. I'm also in a uh, Twitter header dimension, which is 1500 by 500 pixels, uh, 200 resolution. You can have it at 72, it's whatever. I just put it at 200 because it makes me feel better. And then pretty much that's it. So that's our little setup. So we can start going. So control shift N is to make a new layer or you just click on this little page down here. And we're gonna go ahead and start this off with a brush, right? And we're gonna go make a smaller brush. All right, a nice little small brush here. We're just gonna click one nice time in the middle with a white uh, soft brush, just like so. Nice little white brush, just click one time in the middle. And this is just to set it up, a simple, really quick setup. And then we're gonna change it to overlay and put it to about 80% and we're gonna go. Uh, maybe a little bit less actually, uh, like 60. That looks good. All right, so we're gonna start with a little cool little uh, splat thing, right? The whole part of this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go and use the rulers again. We're gonna use the, uh, what is it called? The ellipse tool. We're gonna go ahead and just click in the middle. I'm gonna find where my crosshairs line up with the ruler right here. Click now, I can start dragging. If I hold alt, you can no longer see that it's gonna move from that point that I clicked. And if I hold shift, it'll make a circle that is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Make a pretty big circle. If you can see right next to my crosshair, the W and H, if you want to copy that as well, if you also are in a Twitter hair dimension, you can do that. I'm not going to really worry about it. Just make a pretty big circle that comes off of the canvas a little bit because we're going to put a stroke on it. So 
When you let go of all your buttons, uh, you'll see you have a fill and a stroke here. It's kind of like Illustrator. Pretty much if you click on fill and you just click on this little word that says no color. If, I don't know if it's going to pop up, but uh, usually it pops up. It says like no color, but that's what this means right here. This little slash. Click on it to get rid of the fill, but we want to put a stroke on. So you want to go to the strokes color and let's just change it to a cool little color. I have this orange I'm going to be using today. And pretty much we're just going to take the stroke or the points right here and put this about 15 and we're going to press OK. And I think this is pretty good size. I still like the size. Okay, so to get that cool little splat little idea I had, it's literally I went to filter, distort, and ripple. And it's going to ask you to rasterize your layer. Just press OK. And then you can see if I zoom out really quickly. Uh, you can't really see it now because if I put it on medium, this is not good enough in my opinion. Uh, neither is small. It's just too like it's too like distorted. If that makes any sense, I want something that's like that's not like minimal distortion. It's like really big and noticeable. So put the size on large and then press OK. And then you got this cool little splat, right? Might want to just shrink it just a little bit more like that. All right. So within the splat in my example here, I have like a little design going on in the inside here. It's very very simple that I did this. Um, I think I use like I use probably like two different things, but I, you can use one thing. So I'm going to right click, uh, I'm going to right click on this little eye right here. I'm just going to change the color. So I know this is in my original. I'm also going to change the name to original because I'm going to be telling you guys to copy your original a lot. And this is the little uh, light. So uh, we're going to duplicate our original. So you can either right click uh, duplicate layer or uh, control J for the shortcut. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the color for you guys so you can see. Uh, I'll change it again to match it better, but just so you can see it right now, uh, it's green. So if I go to filter, uh, we're going to go to distort again, and we can either use like zigzag or like twirl. I think zigzag is pretty cool. Um, something like that, maybe like ripple it a little bit, press OK. And then what this is basically going to do is create like a cool little inner, like I guess a secondary pattern inside this little splat. And so to do that, you, to cut it out, either you can just um, right click. Uh, create clip mask which you can do that uh, you can do that I just don't like feel like doing that because it's just like that's like the really really simple way to do it and it's like <laughs> there's no like harder or easier way well this is an easier way uh, but for some reason I like to do things difficult so I press control click on the thumbnail of the original you can choose whatever one you want to do this is just a second opinion or option excuse me control click on the original which is going to give you like a I guess like a marky like a little marching ants copy of that and you basically click on the uh, the copy now and press M on your keyboard or go to the rectangle marquee tool. M is the shortcut for it. And then it gives you the option when you right click to select the inverse. And then basically you can click on the copy and just press delete on your keyboard and then deletes everything else that was around it. And only the thing on the inside is going to be shown. So you can do that, but I'm not going to do, I'm going to do that. I don't know. For some reason, I don't, click, I don't like clipping masking. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Um, but I'm not actually going to keep the, uh, I want not, I want I don't want zigzag. I want wave, I think. Um, no, I don't. I want twirl. That's what I want. We're going to take twirl, something like that, right? And then we're going to do that. And I'm going to change the color again really quickly for you guys so you can see it. A little lighter and then like something like that up here. Press OK. And then pretty much, like I said, control click on the original. And on my keyboard, right click, select the inverse, delete on my keyboard on the copy here. And now I have this. Yeah, that's better. That's It's just more scattered and more space, so you can see it looks a little bit cooler, in my opinion. So there we go. That's something there they can do for like a little pattern on the inside. If you want to also do something else, like um, we can do, uh, we'll select the thumbnail again on the original. This gives, like like I said, it gives us like the little copy or like a cutout or kind of like a, like you penciled it out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, <clears throat> modify, contract, and we're gonna contract it by five pixels. Uh, maybe one more. So contract it one more, maybe. So one pixel. So like six altogether. Is that okay? I think that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm making a new, um, new layer, and we're gonna change our foreground color to white. And then either you can press Alt Backspace because it's a quick fill and it's also a selection that is uh, that's currently up right now. Or you can use your M tool, uh, which is a rectangle marquee tool, and then right click fill and then use drop down white. You can do that as well. And then deselect or uh, Control D to deselect. And so pretty much I'm going to put this now on overlay. And yes, it is in between the uh, copy and the uh, original. I didn't put it above it because I kind of want it to like, I don't know, give me a little bit more than just this, right? It looks really odd right there. But if I put it in between them, you can see it looks pretty cool. And on the overlay, I'm just going to lower the opacity down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is just take my eraser, nice little soft brush eraser, and just give myself a nice little gradient that's, you know, something like that, right? 
Looks a little cool. Uh, maybe a little bit less. Sure. I'm down with that. All right, so sweet. So that's basically it right there. Um, also, to get the little particles that I had, it's just using Dissolve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a new copy of the original, Control-J. And I'm just going to take that copy, put it below everything. And we're just going to go ahead and Control-T to free transform. Alt and Shift is the keys that I'm holding right now. And I'm just going to click on the right corner here. And let's just drag it up just to make it a little more bigger, just like so. I can press Enter or I can just press the little check button that is located up here. And then I can just go to Normal and change it to Dissolve. And then just put my opacity all the way down to 1. And this will give me this little thing. So basically it dissolves the layer that I have selected. And it gives me something like this. It's kind of little little particle stuff going on here. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. If you want to take your soft brush eraser and like kind of like erase, like kind of like scatter them a little bit differently, right? Something like that. So you have less on this side, more on this side. I don't know. Just give that, you know, design feel like you actually thought about something <laughs> a little bit. Uh, that's like, you know, sadly, but true. Um, so yeah, it looks good here. What I can do right now is make a new layer. I'm going to use a simple white brush hit on the top. Just like so, right? It looks good right there. I'll load the opacity just a little bit to like 65, sure. And then we're gonna take a gradient, uh, gradient, excuse me, brightness and contrast. We're gonna put the brightness and contrast really high, really quick. I'm just gonna see what this looks like. Um, like something like that. I'm just gonna load the opacity on this. All right, so like 60. Would that look terrible? Oh, I kind of like how that looks. Just kind of like darkens everything up. So the, uh, the settings that I have here for my brightness is negative 80 and 50 for my contrast. Very high changes. If you don't want to do this, it's, it's all up to you. But this is how I kind of went with it th uh, during the other design that I showed you for the example. Um, so we have, look, we look pretty cool here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and maybe put like white. I want to put white dots in the background as well. Just for the color scheme, right? What we can do is make a duplicate of the original dissolve here. I'll make it a little more smaller. Just change the, uh, the copy to white, color overlay to white, just like so. I have little white ones around. Uh, we can just like kind of rotate it. Dude, that looks awesome. I'm down for this. You guys like it? I don't know. I'm I'm feeling this right now. So um, pretty much we have that going on here. I like, I like how this is looking. Uh, what I can do now is kind of like fill in the inner circle. So what I did here is all I did was I selected my original, which is my obviously my big little splat that I have here. Take my W key, which is uh, the rectangle, or excuse me, oh, whoops, I always say that too much, uh, the magic wand tool, and pretty much you just select the insides, as you can see it just selects it perfectly because it's already, you already clicked on the layer of the original, and once you select the inside, you can make a new layer, and go about just control backspacing, or all backspacing, whatever color you want to fill, or just right click with your rectangle marquee tool, and fill a color in, I'm just going to use white, because I like it, and we're going to do that, it looks pretty good right there. I'm going to take my text now. I'm going to put create. I think I spell create. I don't know what it is, but I can't like see the word. Okay. It's just like that. And we're going to use outer zone. And something like that. There we go. All right. Put that up there. All right, sweet. So pretty much to like, what are we missing here? We're missing like, I guess we're missing like the cool little epic lights or something like that. All right, we're missing little stuff like that. And... Okay, okay. So, pretty much, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually change my color, because that's what I did. I used hue and saturation to change my color, actually. I went negative, I think, for my hue to get that cool color that I had in my uh, copy. Uh, something like that, there we go. I'm down for that, like a little bit of a red. Just gonna literally pass it a little bit. All right, I'm down for that. And so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another copy of the original. There's a lot of copies in this. That's why I said I wanted to, you know, at least show you guys that I am copying it uh, by making sure that you see that my yellow one is the original here. I'm gonna make a pretty big one right here. And we're just gonna put this to like, uh, let's see, we're gonna put this on. We can put it on, luminosity is not bad. We can just load the opacity a little bit, just like so, right? Kind of like that going on here. Maybe I could rotate it as well, just so it's not like completely the same. And I can, I can do whatever the heck I really want, to be honest. So I'm just going to do that for now. And also, I'm going to make another new layer. I'm going to put another light on the top. I feel like it's not enough light that's coming like throughout the entire thing. Like that. There we go. Another light, just like so. Um, what I can also do now is just take another uh, simple like new layer here. Uh, we're going to use the orange. So I'm holding Alt on my brush. It gives me the, uh, the option to select any color that I have on this little canvas here. So this orange I'm going to click on. I'm gonna go ahead and make a smaller brush and we're just gonna click like 
something like that. And we're just gonna see. I think uh, linear dodge add would look good, and it does look pretty good in my opinion. Something like that, right? I can take my eraser, kind of like erase a little bit if I don't want too much over there. Um, yes, we're down for that. And what is this called? Uh, we're just gonna call it banner design, and we have that on next to bold. Banner designer. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, all right. So, uh, pretty much now it's just all up to really like I'm just doing random stuff at this moment, just like I guess show you guys what I'm doing, like how I went about this, of course, on my like attempt or whatever. But I'm gonna put another brightness and conscious on the top of this, and kind of like fit it with this a little bit, just like mm, like a little bit more darker, bring out the lights a little bit more by putting my brightness up, and also the create the color, the text color is just like throwing me off completely. Here we go. All right, now a fan a little bit more. Yes, there we go. All right, the color, the color, of the text are just like completely throwing me off. Now, if you really want to, I'm just gonna click and find a little simple picture that I had it before. And I will, all right, I'll scale it just a little bit. It really doesn't matter, but we'll scale it down. I just found it on Google. I think I typed in Rocky. What did I type in? I type in Rocky Shore wallpaper is what I typed in literally. Um, and I got this picture. I'm gonna put this on luminosity. And we're gonna put this, we'll just put it below everything but like the last brightness of conscious and stuff and load the opacity down. And pretty much, kinda want that just like that. It looks good just like that. And what I can do right now is click uh, the control click on my thumbnail again. I can go back to this little uh, part, right, uh, part, right, uh, part right here uh, where I have my picture. Right click with my rectangle marquee tool and layer via copy or cut. I think cut will work out best. So basically now, if I just, if you guys can see in the inner, like the orange right here, basically it's gonna cut out everything from the picture, like look right there. It cut out like a little uh, splat in the picture. So now I have like a separate layer of that splat. I can fill this on like overlay now and like bring out the color a little bit more. This is like all optional stuff. You can't really even see it that well, but like, I don't know if you're like really looking for it, maybe you would find it better. But like overall, it's just a fun, dope concept in my opinion. Like what else can I do? Like, I don't know, I can just like, I would just, I'll take a brush stock really quickly. And we will go ahead and, I don't know, like, this is just what I'm doing just because whatever, right? You don't probably have these brushes. It's my brush pack, actually. Uh, if you guys want to purchase, I'll put it down below. But it's just like adding random stuff now at this point is what I'm doing. Just to like make it look cool, make it look more complete. Uh, it doesn't have to be random either. Like, I'm just like saying that. But if I was thinking about my process, maybe I would even go in and like, I don't know, figure out a way to like make this look a little bit cooler, like the like it's coming outwards. Um, I don't know, it's all up to you though, guys. I really wanted to show you guys just a little fun little concept that I had. And like, if you take your time on of course, I like my example a lot more better just because, I don't know, I took my time on it and it just looks dope. And like really what I just did was I used this more harsher colors. I didn't really use harsh colors in this. Um, as you can see, it's more like a pink and like orangey kind of like feel that's going on here. And like, there wasn't really much of that. I can always change and try to find out like if I can change the color to that. Like if I really want to try and like find the color. Like that's not a bad color at all for this. Like that really cool dope yellow and like really like harsh orange. Um, but it's just all up to you, you know what I mean? It's just gonna be a fun little concept to do. I can press control U on this and kind of like find a color to use like for this. Something like that, right? You can just always change your colors around. But of course, it's just the difference that I had in this tutorial of my example and the one that I showed you guys in the beginning. Just it's just a different color. So pretty much, if you guys want to have fun with this, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, please leave a like on anything you guys want to see me do in the future, whatever like that. Uh, please, I would I would appreciate it a lot. Um, thank you guys so much. For, like I said, for fifty five thousand subscribers, do not forget to follow me on Twitter at HQ. Um, you can just like find out by live stream. I don't know. I haven't been live streaming a lot. I don't know if you guys really want me to, but I will try if you guys really do want me to. Um, other than that, like, I don't know, follow me on Twitter at least. I want to hit 10K. Can we get that, like, please? Like, God. Um, other than that, of course, uh, don't forget to check my self by selfie.com slash SOHQ for any premium packs as low as $5. And pretty much, uh, you can get anything in my store for free if you guys get 
the everything pack, uh, everything that comes out, everything pack is of one purchase of $30. You get it one time and basically you get everything in my store plus any future products that come out for free, gets emailed to you, all that cool stuff. You're going to purchase that. Go for it. One of my best products, almost, uh, I think 610 of you guys have it. So a lot of people of you guys, like a lot of you guys have it. It's not like a, you know, new kind of thing or like a, like I'm not lying that it's like a really go, like a good product. There's 600 people who have it. That's a lot of freaking people and it's a very super price and it's really dope. I like to update things, all that cool stuff. All right. I'm done talking. I really appreciate like a lot. I just, I don't know. I just sat down today before I did this video. I was like, yo, what the hell? Like how? I don't know. But it's all because of you guys. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome day. Talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace. Really quickly, I looked over like the original in my copy really quick and I was like, what is off right here? And I think it's just because that I did not have like enough like darkness in the background of this. So pretty much all I did was really quickly drop the brightness and contrast below my original copy of like the little uh, splat thing. And I figured out just like putting a little bit of brightness and contrast, like your contrast put it up or whatever. And like your brightness, like put it negative. Just give it a little bit more darker scheme. It pops up your colors a lot more. If that's what you were like maybe looking for in the banner design, I don't know why I didn't like pick that up. But I, you know, I looked at it really quickly and I was like, oh, it's brightness and contrast. So, you know, if you want to make it look a little more like my, uh, you know, example, just do that and you got it going on. So thank you guys so much. Um, talk to you guys later. Peace.